Hello guys, welcome back and in this video we're gonna see how we can kind of recreate this 3D reflection that you saw in the beginning of this video. So the first method is with Element 3D from Video Call Pilot and the second one is with the basic vanilla After Effects. So if you're new to Element 3 and don't have that much knowledge about it, don't worry, I'm your guide in this one. Just grab yourself some cup of tea and we can dive into After Effects and let's see how this effect is made. Here in After Effects, we're gonna start by creating a new comp and this one we're gonna call this E3D Glass Reflection. There we go, and we can use the standard preset, HD 1920, 1080, 25 frames per second. And for the duration, we can use 10 seconds. And for the background color, we can just choose pure black and just press OK. And now we're going to create this effect from scratch so you can learn how this effect is made. We're going to start by creating a solid, and we can just call this one background, and we can add a four color gradient. I'm going to choose pretty dark colors but you are free to choose whatever you want and for the last one I have some hex code so here we have the background we're gonna go to new again and create a new solid and call this one E3D main and make sure this is comp size we're gonna go to video call pilot use element 3D and add element 3D to the solid and we're gonna go to Scene setup, press OK. Here in Element 3D, we're going to go to Create and create a new sphere model. When you go to Wireframe, you will see it doesn't have that much polygons or in this case segments. So we're going to bump this up to around 50. So we have a very basic sphere model. We're going to go to Environment and you can choose whatever HDRI you want. So I'm going to choose this one Backlight and we can get rid of the saturation because we don't want any colors in this maybe make it a little bit darker we're going to go to preset because now we want to add this this frosted glass texture so we're going to go to physical and we're going to drop down this glass textures that we have here and as you can see you get this reflective material on your sphere we're going to go to to the glass material and the first thing that I want to do in reflection, I want to make it without any color. So we're going to make it white. And then we go to glossiness. And for this part, I'm going to use actually a basic texture. You can use whatever you want. There we go. So it's just a texture with some, some noise in it. So you get this very cool frosty looking glass effect. So we're gonna press OK and we're gonna move on to the next part. Now that we have our sphere, we want to multiply this one. So to create this multiple sphere, we wanna use particle replicator. And for this one, I'm gonna use maybe 20 and we're gonna use a sphere. So I'm gonna play around a little bit with this and create a shape that I'm satisfied with. So. Now that we have the, the shape that we want, we're going to add some animation to this process. I want to do a very basic like a movement in the glass. I want to find something that is subtle. So we're going to create some keyframes from here. Maybe this is a little bit too subtle. We're going to make it zero. I think there are too many spheres. So I'm going to make the particle count around 10 and maybe make it and make them come a little bit closer to each other. For the animation, this is very basic, but I think for the sake of this tutorial, this can work. So the next part is that we want to create a text. And if you want to use the same font, I have this Arshimoto V00. Now that we have our text, what we want to do, make a comp. So we're gonna call this text glass main. So this is our main text I really want to add some animation to the text. For the sake of the time, you can choose whatever animation you want, but I'm going to give it some animation. And now I've created some very basic animation. And you can choose whatever text animation that you want. We're going to jump back to the glass reflection that we have here. 
we want to add the text glass main below the element 3d layer so for the next thing that we want to do we, we want to take the 3d text glass main duplicate it and rename it to reflection for the element 3d main layer we're going to duplicate it again and this one we want to pre-compose and we're going to call this one z depth and just going to press ok and now into the e3d z depth comp we want to change the output so we're going to go to output press it down and go to show and we're going to choose z depth and we're going to toggle and we're going to toggle the transparency grid and we're going to press preserve alpha and we're going to make sure that they are kind of white yeah something like that after that we're going to add a layer style to this and we're going to add some inner shadow for this part we're going to go to inner shadow and the angle we're going to use zero and let's see i'm going to just play around a little bit and for the distance we can also make the size a bit bigger we're going to increase op opacity to 90 percent so we have this really weird looking spheres and they are perfect for the next step that we want to jump into we're gonna go back to our main comp again and we're gonna toggle this off so we don't see it so we're gonna go back to the text glass reflection that we created we're gonna add a displacement map so we're gonna do it this way as you guys can see you can see that we have some control over the displacement of the text here for the horizontal displacement a luminance and we're going to use the z depth as a map layer so now if we just solo this layer you're going to see we have some weird reflections in the text the spheres are interacting with the text we can add some more displacement we can make it maybe 50 and make this one also 50 something like that and this is something that you have to play around with to get it right i want to also add some transform effect and this one we're going to put it above the displacement and we're going to maybe add some skew to it not that much maybe 10 and maybe make this one also 10. Okay, this is maybe a little bit too much maybe something like that now when you see the displacement is affecting the whole text but we want to kind of isolate only in the spheres we will see these distortions and outside of the spheres we want to see the regular text that we have so what i want to add is something called a set mat so now that we have the set mat we're going to choose the z depth in this one also and we're going to use also the luminance in this one and now you're seeing this very nice distortions in the text depending on the luminance channels that we have provided with the z depth straight from the element 3d right in after effects the next step is to add some gaussian blur and this one we're going to add it before the set mat so the set mat has to be the last one and for the gaussian blur we're gonna see we're gonna add 50 and now you're seeing this very beautiful glass reflection with element 3d i want to add some more flavors to this and make it pop a little bit more we're gonna actually duplicate the element 3d layer and what we want to do is we want to go to scene setup and we want to use we want to go back to physical and for this time i want to create this outline outline animation so we're going to use this one and for the color we can just use white so now you see this outline shapes from the spheres that we that we have created before and we're going to add this one as a screen and what we can do actually is to add some glow to it okay not that much maybe maybe make it 200 and the exposure we can turn it down because this is going to be a very subtle effect 
So we can park it here or we can also add some RGB separation if we want to have that one. Okay, now this watch, this is a plugin that you can use, but there are ways to create this without this plugin. But we can add just maybe two or something to it. So it's not that crazy. And the cool thing with this is that you can make this maybe more distorted if you want to. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. We can add the scale to 110. And we're just going to play it back. It seems very complicated, but at the end, it's just a couple of steps that you're going to follow. And you get this very beautiful reflection. I can also show you the other ones that I've created because I've been experimenting with this technique. As you can see, this is the exact same method that I'd used before. The only thing that has changed is the shape. I just made some blob and I changed the sphere to a one big blob and added the displacements onto that. And this one is a spring that I've created in Cinema 4D and imported to Element 3D and made some animation, add this glass displacement effect onto it. And you have this very cool looking reflections. So all of these are made with the same technique. And if you want to learn how we can do this without using Element 3D, we can actually do this in inside of After Effects. So let's jump in to that tutorial. And this is actually 3D right in After Effects without using any plugins. So as you can see, you can kind of import 3D models right in After Effects as well. It has its limitation, but it is manageable. And the big advantage that you can have 3D directly within After Effects, and that kind of eliminates the need for plugins like Element 3D. And in this case, I use Cinema 4D to create this kind of spheres that you see, but you can kind of achieve the same thing with any 3D software out there. I won't delve into the details as this is essentially the same process as the tutorial I went through with you before. But the only difference is that you have to find some way to create this fake Z depth. I can, I can just go through this with you so you have some understanding. So this is uh, a basic background that I created. Uh, this is the normal text. This is just a text. And here is the sphere. I just imported a OBJ file directly into After Effects and you can see the only thing that I did with this one is just I added some keyframes on position and on rotation, nothing else too crazy. And I created a pre-comp with this sphere and I only, you can see this is just a white one. I added a color of lay on this one. So you can go here on layer styles and add a color overlay here and I added the inner shadow and it's basically the same process that I showed you before to give this luminance uh, channel some information. So this is the first step and you can see here uh, in the text displacement you have the transform, you have the displace map sphere mate mat that I created and the luminous channel and there is nothing too crazy is it's basically the exact same way the only thing that is maybe a little bit different is that you have to kind of add this HDRI light uh, and you just go to new and you can add this light and it's called environment light so you just add this one and I downloaded a free HDRI uh, that you can see here and this is the one that I'm using for this lighting. There is some kind of uh, noise in the spheres that you see. I think this is very experimental from, from their side. Um, but, I but I believe with more time and, and time invested into this, they can actually give us some more tools. Because right now it's very limited uh, when it comes to 3D writing in After Effects, just to have that in mind. We have to kind of find a way to enhance the 3D workflow. But I think in the future, when we get more 
functions and features uh, we can create more awesome things right in after effects without using any 3d software that will be awesome all right everyone i hope this tutorial was fun to watch and you have learned some new techniques so you can use it in your own projects. Hopefully this video was very helpful and very useful for you. And as you can see, this channel is growing. And if you want to be a part of this growth, you can just join in and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to, you can see each other in the next video.